Hey guys, let's talk about anesthesia, local versus general, the two types of anesthesia we use at our clinic. Local anesthesia is when you just freeze an area, a local area. General anesthesia is when you're completely out, you're completely asleep. Local anesthesia is a type of anesthesia that allows you to freeze a small area when you're doing small minor procedures. It is not ideal when you're trying to do a bigger procedure. That is when you try and do general anesthesia. Local anesthesia is when you try to freeze just a small area, you're doing a small a minor procedure. If you're doing something bigger and you need a larger surgical field to be completely frozen and a patient to be completely relaxed, then general anesthesia is the way to go. When you're completely knocked out, you're fully asleep, you're completely unaware of what's going on. Now, a lot of people are scared of general anesthesia. Uh, I would say, in my experience, 99.99% of patients who are going to have surgery under general anesthesia seem to be more concerned about going under than about the surgery itself. And they're scared of waking up during surgery or not waking up at all. When you have general anesthesia, uh, medication is given either through gas, inhalational gas, or through IV medication that is completely going to knock you out. You're completely asleep, completely unaware. You don't feel anything. You don't remember anything. You, you're so much out that when you wake up, it feels like it was just a split second. So when people ask me how long the surgery will take, my answer is usually five seconds. You're going to close your eyes, and next thing you know, you're waking up. Now my part is going to take longer, but from your perspective, it's a split second. And again, people are scared of general anesthesia. But if you talk to most people, they either don't remember anything or they'll tell you it is the best sleep they've ever had. So do not be afraid of general anesthesia. There is fear that you may wake up during surgery. And yes, that can happen, usually in horror movies. In a proper surgical setting where you have a properly trained board certified anesthesiologist, such as we have here in our clinic, there's somebody whose sole job is to sit there, watch you, make sure you're comfortable and that you're out. You will not be waking up, but you will wake up as soon as the medication is turned off, as soon as the anesthetic medication is turned off and it starts to wear off, you will slowly start to wake up. Sometimes it takes a few seconds, sometimes it takes a few minutes, depends on what type of medication was used and how much of it was used. But yes, you will wake up after the anesthetic medication has been turned off. After waking up, you probably won't remember much. Um, even though you'll be awake, uh, most people don't really remember the first five, 10 minutes in recovery. They don't remember the initial part. It's, it's, it's just hazy, their memory is not that great. Choosing between local and general anesthesia uh, is up to the surgeon. Now, sometimes patients can ask, they wanna be under local, they wanna be under general. So you can make the request, but we may not always be able to uh, comply with your request. If something is being done that is big and requires a large field to be frozen, doing local is not possible because understand a local anesthetic is a drug and like all drugs, there's such a thing as a toxic dose. If you give too much of a local, you can actually have toxic side effects. Too much of a local freezing will first give you neurological problems, you'll have funny sensations, you may then go on to seizures, convulsions, next come heart problems, irregular arrhythmias, and you can even have a complete cardiac arrest. So for that reason, doing too much of a local is not a safe thing. So people think, you know, local is maybe safer than general. Well, it all depends. If it's a little bit, yeah. Uh, if it's too much, it's actually more dangerous. So something as big as, for example, a tummy tuck or a full body liposuction would probably be difficult to do on the local. Something small, like a little skin excision, is actually pretty easy on the local. And I personally like to do facelifts on the local because strategically placed in injections can freeze the entire face. So you don't have to put a lot of freezing. You can just freeze a few little spots and the whole area can becomes, becomes frozen. The benefit of having a local anesthetic is that one, you don't have to uh, fast. There's no fasting. You can eat and drink all you want. Uh, you'll be pretty good with it, so you have to bring somebody with you. You can go home on your own. You know, this is something for privacy. If some patients don't want anybody to know they're having surgery, even if family members, this way you come and go um, and nobody needs to know about it. 
Two, you go home the same day. It's like going to the dentist. You, you just go home and you find there's no um, downtime like you would have with uh, general anesthetic, which may mean that for 24 hours or so, you cannot be left alone. You're prone to fainting, uh, nausea, vomiting, potentially constipation from the anesthetic drugs. None of this happens with local. General anesthesia is ideal for patients who are having a lot of surgery done, where too much freezing would be toxic, or also for patients that may be having something small done, but they're super, super anxious and cannot handle freezing or needle or just can't think, cannot stomach being awake during a procedure. So for such patients, yes, we can knock you out, but that's, that's pretty rare. You know, it's, it's pretty common in pediatric hospitals, but for adults, uh, um, it's, it's pretty rare. Sometimes people ask for little procedures to be done under tool anesthesia, and that sometimes can be excessive, like a little mole removal or a little little skin excision. Uh, to go to sleep for that, that, that is just medically unwise. The, the cost and benefit, um, potential complication of, of general anesthesia versus the benefit, uh, it's, it's not a good match. So we would then say, no, no general anesthesia for you. The benefit of having a local anesthetic procedure is that there's little preparation. If you are having general anesthesia, there's certain rules you have to follow. The number one that you cannot forget is that you cannot eat or drink for several hours before surgery because when you're under, you're completely out. You have no sensation whatsoever. You have no concept of time. Uh, and most importantly, you have no reflexes. And when you have no reflexes and you're lying flat on a table, if you have contents in your stomach, they can regurgitate, come up and go down to the airway and then the acidic contents of your stomach end up in your lung. You get an acidic injury, chemical injury, chemical pneumonitis, which can be potentially fatal. So it is very, very important that if you're having gel anesthesia, you don't eat or drink before your surgery. The amount of time varies, depends uh, on the anesthetist, the procedure, all kinds of things. So speak to your surgeon about that. But please don't forget this little thing. And this also means no chewing gum. Because when you're chewing, you're creating saliva. So you have a lot of saliva going into your stomach. So it doesn't have to be just food, but it's the acidic contents of your stomach, which we don't want to come up and go into your airway. Funny story. We had a patient who came in uh, and we went to see her in a pre-op. We walk in and there's this big water bottle. And I'm like, what is this? And she's like, it's just my water. I'm like, you're not supposed to have anything to eat or drink, right? And she's like, nothing to drink. I thought that meant alcohol. <laughs> and the best part is, this wasn't her first surgery. This was her second surgery with us. So she must have known better than that. Anyways, it was funny, but unfortunate because we had to cancel her surgery for safety reasons. It wasn't safe to go ahead knowing that she had contents of something in her stomach and we couldn't really trust her that her stomach was empty. So we had to cancel her surgery. Not good, but funny. Now it is funny. Back then we were not laughing that much.